Uh, so, so there was this um, rapper back in the days who used to say, rapper, get a job. I say, trader, get a job, you know? Don't let the blue screens blind you, man. Sometimes you get calls from someone who's blown an account, they're cussing you out, and you also just so badly want to return the favor, but you can't because you're in a professional setting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I've realized you can't save people from themselves, you know? All you can do is guide them. The, the shoes are worth Guys, nothing Yeah, don't, don't go now. <laughs> <laughs> It's Mobi Tumbani from Top Trader SA. I'm not sitting alone. I'm sitting with my amazing co-host. The current Mr. President, MJ Givens Hassan. <laughs> well, elections are over, Chief. In my head. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another installment of Industry Chats Podcast. And welcome to all the industry players today. And we're looking forward to today's episode. And today we're not sitting alone. We've got a very uh, special guest. Uh, about Patsy Betu, they are in the building. Yeah, <laughs> the guys who pay, the guys who pay our bills. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got Ooh, Babongi, the Terrence and Tuli in the building. Yo, what's up? Oh, good, man. Thanks yeah. for having me here. No, thank it's you so pleasure. much for being yeah. here. I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, um, you guys are industry players. We're industry players. Terence is an industry player and we're going to be getting into a whole lot of things of what happens, uh, getting to his uh, experience in the industry as well. Uh, he's got lots of experience in the industry with yeah. trading as well. So I think it's going to be a really interesting conversation. But before we get into all of that, how's everyone doing? We're good getting into winter. Yeah. Summer, autumn, winter. Winter, right? Yeah. All I know is it's hot or it's cold, man. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, getting yeah, into, getting I think with yeah. autumn now. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a bit chilly and yeah, no, it's it, getting it, nice. It's getting a bit chilly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but by the time this drops, it's going to be dropping in April. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're shooting way ahead, but hopefully by the time you guys watch this, you guys will enjoy this. Terrence, how are you doing? No, I'm easy, man. Easy. All good. Yeah. Yeah. Can't complain. No, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to... Um, to have you here today. Uh, yeah, so basically, this is how I met Terrence. I actually met Terrence in uh, Cape Town uh, a couple of years back. Okay. Uh, at the other shop there. Won't mention any names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, such a stand-up guy. And actually, yeah. to find out that he was here as well, on this side as well, yeah. I was at Okta. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. This is nice. Like, really Now nice. we're dealing in the same shop. <laughs> it's a small yeah, world. Yeah. It's a very small world. And guys, I think the moment you get involved in the industry, one thing you start to realize is how small the industry is. Mm. Like it's really uh -huh. small. Uh -huh. I'm talking about like the online brokerage space industry in South Africa. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not the entire trading South African because there's still like another side to uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. but that's yeah. why I don't burn bridges. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very important. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere we're going to meet. <laughs> yeah. We're all going to meet at FMAS. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, those ones with comments, remember, guys, we still have a day. I'm just <laughs> waiting for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, no, Babong's, uh, yeah. That's how I met you. Mm -hmm. And I think you could just give us a bit of background on uh, your story. And I think we'll just take it from there. Okay. How yeah. far back do I need to go? How far back do you want to go? Let's take the it back to the time. Yeah. <laughs> the 90s, 80s, it's up oh, to you. Man. Okay. So basically, I've got an entrepreneurial background before I got into this whole trading thing. Mm. Uh, my boy and I actually used to clean bins um, in yeah. my neighborhood oh yeah uh, how much how much are you guys i've got i've got a cousin who actually yeah. did that for some time he was making quite a bit of money eh? uh, yeah i know it started off well i yeah. mean making a couple extra 2k 3k in a month mm -hmm. um and then we got into the pollution area cleaning nice clean white for bathrooms uh pollution you know so we do a pollution clean <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm a toilet that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but anyways we did deep cleaning and then that went well all right, guys, it's competition time, and each episode will have three winners who will receive stylish branded Octa merch packs, which include hoodie, backpack, cap, lantern, power bank, and bottle. And here's how the competition will go. Participants will need to leave correct answers in the comment section within a week from the release of this video. Winners will be selected by a randomizer among those who have fulfilled all the conditions. One answered all questions correctly left their nickname on instagram for communication registered in the octa trading app and you're a resident of south africa we'll announce the videos a week after each video 
If a winner is not registered in the app or lives outside of South Africa, the prize will go to another person who fulfills and meets all the conditions. How does the European Central Bank, known as the ECB, rate hike typically impact the strengthening of the respective currency? What is the primary indicator used to measure inflation? What is the positive value when trading with $10,000? at a leverage ratio of 50 to 1. Users can participate in all the quizzes if they did not win in the previous week. And then we found ourselves in the um, tech space, uh, facilities management. So we worked with Microsoft, all that jazz. Uh, so this 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 time, uh, at this point in time, you know, we're doing well in business, uh, but things stopped going well. We had a facilities management app called Snap. Okay. So basically, you take a picture for fault. Like you remember GRA, uh, GRA Find and Fix app? No. Where the pothole app, where like you take pictures of a pothole, it goes to the city, then they come and fix it. It was ba- built Wait, on that framework. There's an app like that. There was icon. an app like that. Um, but yeah, so was. we... Yes, it was. <laughs> As you can see, the potholes are still there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I think I remember that. Yeah, remember, I think I yeah. remember that. Uh, okay. Is it... Um, I think the previous uh, premier, is it Tau? Pak yes, who introduced Pak, that. Pak, yeah, exactly. Pak that Stau. was him. That was him. I remember that. So we're working with that. the team that built that oh, infrastructure yeah. and we're in the facilities maintenance space. It went well up until we didn't have enough funding. And that's my entry into Forex. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I always thought it was a scam. You know? I was like, hey, this thing is too fishy, you know? Yeah. Uh, but then um, as I started doing research, started to see that it's actually not so bad. Um, but I've also seen how easy it is uh, and how people are susceptible, susceptible to scams because when we were still new with my boys, um, we just showed them MT4 in a, a workshop. It was mm. like 50 of us. They, just by showing them this, uh, like a MT4 app, they're like, please teach us, chief. You know, like, but guys, we just started learning this thing and yeah. probably could have made a killing. You know, those guys charge like 5K for food. That's 250K school. Um, yeah. But, you know, that's, that's basically my intro into the industry. Did some, you know, those YouTube videos, got into it. And then, yeah, I mean, Obviously, being an entrepreneur, it's not like a stable income, yeah. right? So yeah. I had to then get into the working side of things. And that's how I then entered the industry around end of 2018. Mm. Uh, so since then, I've been in the industry since that time from the other side. Oh, yeah. from, from, oh, so since that time? From since the end of side. Yeah, around October 2018. Do you, do you yeah. think that was a wise decision for you? Definitely. Um, look, um, as a trader um, or even entrepreneur, it's good to have a source of income. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one one of the things I think that people undermine is this thing of capital. Mm. We are very undercapitalized as traders, more especially in this country. You know yeah. how the economy is. So you need to have some form of income because, I mean, you can't expect to be happy with a 10% return on a $100 account. It's not sustainable. Mm. That's why in South Africa, we love leverage. I think uh, most traders, they, they love leverage for yeah. that reason. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So so in getting a job, it was to understand how things work on the other side of the business. Mm-hmm. And also just to have enough capital. You know, when you are working and have some income, you're able to fund your account with decent sizes or you can save up towards it. Mm. Uh, so, so there was this... Um, rapper back in the days we used to say rapper get a job i say trader get a job you know (laughs) it's very important um, you know you you need to have something you know you can't just rely on that one you blow that one account and then it's taking you how long to save up towards it you know at least if you're working you know that it's sustainable definitely yeah yeah. Mm, interesting very interesting trader get a job (laughs) yeah that's that's so powerful and i think that's one of the things that we normally preach on the podcast that always have something on the side imperative um if maybe trading doesn't go your way within a space of time Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. have something that can at least pay the bills exactly uh, so that you don't get frustrated because if you're focusing on this thing alone and (laughs) want to pay pay bills there yeah and what happens when you get frustrated Mm. you know you you end up wanting to do wrong things Mm. and you do and and you you end up, do I mean, things. you know, <laughs> without mentioning too many, that's what sometimes happens, you know. Yeah. Now it's like, hey, I don't have a stream of income. Let me create one by doing things maybe you wouldn't normally do. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. You, you know, you mentioned something that a lot of people are so susceptible to uh, being scammed. Yes. But you also, uh, you mentioned, and it's quite, I think it recently just happened to my brother right now uh-huh. uh, where somebody literally was like, they, so we have a friend in our hood 
Uh, he's starting out with Forex now. Okay. He's taking a gap year for okay. this whole thing. So obviously, I, I was like, I'm against that on any given day. I'm like, don't okay. do not take a gap year for yeah. <laughs> maybe to learn, but not to make money. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. But now the mother of the boy was like, no, you can't go to Jay for free. You need to pay Jay for uh-huh. that thing. Now all of a sudden he's thinking like, ah, you understand. So I think that's how a lot of guys get in the game. Obviously mm. he said no because yep. like, ah, it's just like, it's homeboy mm. and he's not mm. trying to be in that space like that. But I think this is how a lot of people actually got into this game. It, was, it wasn't it was even made. A lot of guys were not actually supposed to be teaching. I think it was mm. just a thing. Like you, you said, need you, a source of income. You showed guys MT4 mm. and guys were like, teachers. Oh, no, I, see, I see. I see, I see where see. he's going with yeah. this. That people didn't actually plan to be mentors yeah I don't but there was a, a demand yeah coming exactly. to them that a, teach me teach me and they exactly. see an opportunity and they didn't plan that in the nah, first place not at all. Hmm. yeah and obviously you put in some time into this thing i mean you've taken maybe three to five years depending how long yeah and then you know there's people who want to learn this thing and if you've got the skill set and it's valuable i mean don't now after 30 days of watching youtube videos now like you're a mentor like i don't co-sign that you know yeah. I, mean? <laughs> yeah. I think give it time have some of a track record you know mm. and mm. then i think it's it's okay to do such yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Before I get into other in- interesting, th- interesting things in the conversation. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, what's the most interesting thing you're currently busy with right now? Besides most- working with me. <laughs> <laughs> right now, then we'll just take a break. Most yeah. interesting thing I'm working on right now. Oh, that's that's an interesting question. Yep. Uh, look, I mean, I recently joined uh, this uh, Opta that recently around like uh, November time, right? Uh, so now it's just a thing of you know learning um, about the clients, you mm-hmm. know, starting to understand them. Because I usually used to work with traders, mm-hmm. right? Wherever I've come from, um, at the other brokers I've worked with, just traders. So now I'm working with partners, IBs. So I'm using my experience from a business perspective mm-hmm. and trading perspective because I do have the experience in trading as well. So it's been quite interesting, you know, helping develop the guys. Uh, you know, for me, that's a very fascinating part of my arc right now, mm-hmm. you know, just helping them grow their business businesses and finding alternative streams of income you yeah know? so yeah I'd, I'd say that's the most interesting thing for now yeah yeah no that's great yeah so you said earlier on that you got into the space yeah uh, forex space because the, that other funding on the other yeah. side was not coming in now let's talk about that because you know what a lot of guys are yeah. sitting at home a lot of guys actually want to be within brokers they want jobs and brokers okay. things like that so how did you land a job your first job in the brokerage uh, space uh, okay. behind the scenes okay before i get to how i got yeah. the job just a quick funny story (laughs) about um you know when we got into trading with my boys you know why i'm saying get a job trader Mm -hmm. get a job is because we we had these i think was it s7 edge phones samsung at the time i can't remember which one exactly but it was one of those fancy phones we got from the business side of things and we got into this trading thing so we're still seeing money uh in demo profits so we just funded an account together and we're like you know what Let's take this phone to Cash Crusaders, yeah? We'll get it back next week. <laughs> Someone out there's got that phone, you know. It's definitely not me, but you know. This is... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you, you, you get so all overconfident in the mm. beginning, and trading will humble you, my guy. Mm. You know, it's it, it will humble the proud. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that on that. And then regarding how I got my first job, so networking is key. Mm. Mm. You need to network. Go to these events. Uh, meet people online even i mean one of the guys i met online was one of the biggest ib bloggers you know at the time mm. um, i reached out to him and i told him look man i want to get a job and then he said, how do i go about that then he gave me one of the ceo's uh details uh, i said look man there's there's an opportunity i just tried out mm. uh, i inboxed him on facebook man i just t- told him about my bin cleaning my this that you know i put my whole presentation in, the, in an inbox on facebook then he's like send your cv to hr and then two three weeks later i'm in a job you know mm. so that's how that's how i got into it yeah. um and when it comes to just uh hustling for a job things like linkedin are important you know clean mm. up your linkedin profile it's actually a tool where it's benefited me in my career okay mm. um i'd say networking like uh, i can't stress it enough mm. to yeah. network because at the end of the day you might be skilled but people don't know about your skill yeah, yeah. they don't yeah. know who you are and sometimes you'll get hired uh, not just because of your skill but 
because of the type of person you are. Mm. People work with people at the end of the day. They don't work with skill. Mm. They work mm. with people. So it's like, is it a pleasure to be around this person? Do you add value? Uh, that's also another thing. Make sure you add value in what you do, whatever job, mm. be it in this industry, whatever industry. Um, and I'd say the business of, of um, the CFD trading industry is huge. Mm. It's not just uh, the account manager jobs i mean uh there's the content creation side there's yeah. the ip side there's so many things you you can do merch you know like you think outside of the box like the business side of it mm. if you think outside of the box you can actually literally create an income stream for yourself there's things people aren't doing right now there's yeah. the tech side of it developers the the most uh, i've seen uh in terms of developers because i've coded a couple of eas on five uh, mql5 okay it's guys from Pakistan, Nigeria, India. Those are some of the biggest countries with developers. Mm. So I'd like to see some more of uh, South African developers coding EAs and, and indicators, you know? Yeah. That's an income stream. You literally, as a freelancer, can yeah. make good money from it. Wow, because we only have one Elon Musk of Forex. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I also wanna... like to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you don't know. I don't know. You'll tell me. It's um, Gadi. Oh, oh. Yes. yeah, he calls himself. Uh, oh, Elon the Elon Musk, Musk of Forex. Oh, yeah. so, you didn't know I that. Know. Nah, now we only have, have, have one. So yeah, I mean, let, let's get more. And and the thing is, when it comes to coding EAs, it doesn't need to be like something that trades. It could be something that alerts you to things. Mm. Could be something that just makes your back testing easier. Yeah. Things of that yeah. nature. I mean, there's so much you can do with that. Wow, that's yeah. so powerful. You know what I'm getting from this? Um, when you're talking about people will always be people, and you know, there's a certain way I think we affect our ourselves um, in this industry, especially when it comes to preserving uh, relationships, mm -hmm. a simple thing as when somebody is asking for something and they inquire and you tell them what you have, you know, a simple thing as thank you, it's enough. Gratitude. Right? Gratitude, right? Mm -hmm. So, but in our industry, we have a lot of people that have so much entitlement that when you tell them what they don't want to hear, mm -hmm. uh, they leave you like that. They can even go as far as just blue ticking you. Three months down the line, they actually know that they need you. <laughs> then they're gonna come back. So I've I've, I've actually developed um, an attitude, and it might be a good or a bad one depending on how people look at it. You mm -hmm. critique me, I do the same, mm. because we, we time is is is, is money now. Mm. Um, work with people that wants to work with you. So mm -hmm. people come to you, they want something, you tell them, okay, I'm working on this, maybe after two months or after a week, let's have a chat. Sure and thing. you go back to those people, hey, are you available? Can we have a chat? And somebody will blue tick you. Yeah. And how do you expect us to work with you if you're having that kind of attitude? Arrogance won't get you far, yeah, it won't. man. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can get there fast, but not far. <laughs> you get <laughs> yeah, so there powerful. fast to nowhere, basically. Like, if you're arrogant in this industry, look... You, you might be doing okay for some time, but at, at, at the end of the day, you're going to need people's assistance with certain things. Things mm. won't always be rosy. It won't always be the man, you know? So just always have a good support system and yeah. don't let that, um, don't let the blue screens blind you, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're yeah. very blind hey. right now. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm genuinely just like, Okay, no, it's still on the EA chat. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, how does one go about learning how to? What was your okay. process of learning how to code an EA? Oh, me personally, I yeah. don't code. I direct. You I'm direct. Like, oh. like, please code this. I have a vision of something that needs to be done, and then you have to be able to articulate that. Okay. If you can't articulate that, you'll end up paying more than developers. But you said this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, no, yeah. I didn't. So you need to firstly learn how to articulate yourself. Um, but then, if you want to go on the learning side, guys, there's you, Demi, there's YouTube, there's free things out there where you can actually learn how to build EAs. Mm. I'm hoping uh, maybe f even five or ten people watching this video will get into that space because there's people who do have the language experience like C Sharp mm. and JavaScript, all these yep. things, right? All these coding languages. Get into that space. It's a very big space. Yeah. yeah. I actually bumped into a guy who says he, uh, he he's the one who was responsible for coding uh, Cash Cow's EA. Okay. Robots, actually. See what yeah, I'm he's saying. actually supposed to be coming on the podcast soon and all of that. That's yeah. fascinating, yeah, man. Yeah, because obviously some things happen there as well. So it's mm. actually quite interesting to know that guys actually out here. And as much as you find that a lot of guys are selling robots, selling yeah. EAs, mm. I think it's very important to also understand is that the, the, they might not be the guys who are coding yeah. these... Yeah. 
these particular robots. Mm. It's like a DJ Khaled, man. He yeah. doesn't rap on the songs. Yeah. He just directs, like, I need Jay-Z here and so-and-so here yeah. and so-and-so. And then that's, that's your album, mm. right? At the end of the day, it's your direction. Yeah. yeah. But should guys actually be transparent whether or not they're responsible for coding? Because I think on, on social media, the misconceptions that I, I, I've... Mm-hmm. People, are, when they sell robots, I don't yeah. think they're being sold... They're being sold under the correct pretense. Yeah. All I'll say is don't cap. Don't be like, <laughs> I built this thing and you're not a coder, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you're selling it, you don't necessarily have to say, I coded or I didn't code it unless mm. I asked you. Yeah. And if I asked you, just tell the truth. Why mm. are you lying about that, man? Like, it's yeah. not necessary. You can just say, I got it built. I've got a team of developers that yeah. I outsourced and that's it. And that's still okay because it's still your IP. Mm. at the end of the yeah. day because yeah. ownership doesn't necessarily mean that you are the creator yeah. mm. you own exactly. it but you might not have been exactly. the one who created the stuff but don't lie about building yeah. it yeah. <laughs> exactly. and, and I feel like ownership is more powerful than being a creator oh yeah that's it's, it's true it's your own property exactly. Exactly. that's true exactly yeah. yeah you just acquired it for yourself mm. yeah. and, and the one thing I like about FIFA and MQL5 and just by the way FIFA you can just get do a lot of things like graphics and mm. whatnot but um you know, when I pay for service on FIFA, for example, or MQL5, there's an agreement you have beforehand mm -hmm. with the person doing the service, right? And basically, the money is put like in an escrow, basically, on the side. It doesn't go directly to the guy. Oh. So it's very, diff it's almost impossible to be scammed there. So mm. if you want something done and someone says, I can do it, they have to do it first, do a demo too. Mm. Then you say, okay, it's done. Then the money gets released. Yeah. So I think this is a, a nice way to protect mm. the consumer. Yeah, and I think a lot of guys, especially yeah. on the service side, provide the guys providing the service to a lot of the guys running businesses, they mm. don't know of services like this or they're not fully aware of services like this because I think it could save a lot of a people lot of from tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. for real, because you find people crying. It's like, oh, me, I didn't get my money. That guy didn't pay me. Yep. But whereas if there was an escrow agreement involved yeah. somehow... And there's a business idea for someone. Maybe someone can build something like that specifically yeah. for the industry. Yeah. You know, to I'm sure there's developers out there right now who can build something yeah. like that. Yeah. I want my royalties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. uh, DM me for pricing has had a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for pricing, it yeah. inflates or deflates yeah. depending, depending on your profile. On, on your profile. <laughs> yeah. What car you drive. Exactly. <laughs> DM me. Uh, DM yeah. me. Yeah. No, guys, for real, if you guys really do have uh, an idea like that I think the, the purpose of this podcast obviously is to have discussions like this for yep. you guys but if you guys think you can pull something like this off let us know send us an mm. email at toptradersouthafrica at, at gmail.com or at, or at hello at toptradersa.co.za and we can definitely see how we can help you promote it as mm. well because I think that would be such a oh, great that platform would be awesome yeah. uh, awesome for, series yeah. like a coder series you know, <laughs> yeah. For yeah. Trains, yeah. 100% yeah, yeah. 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 will we'll help definitely if yeah. you can code it right and get it right and get the language right I think definitely mm -hmm. we'd be looking at some form of partnership with you guys and I'm, I'm serious guys I'm really serious anyway away from that mm -hmm. back to Terrence secure right the now. bag I don't just secure the yeah. <laughs> he's working we'll, double shift now and we'll give Terrence his royalties <laughs> oh, yeah. of course of course <laughs> yeah. 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 no yeah. but okay so now it's 2018 you're in yep. the industry uh, now you need to learn the industry uh, mm. what are some of the mistakes that you made along the way some of the things where you look back now and like ah, ac actually I could have handled that better or I could have done better in that regard or I shouldn't have gone there you know when you say mistakes like dealing no, with clients or yeah what? dealing with clients because obviously on the back end right now so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go to dealing with clients and then we'll, we'll mm -hmm. touch on the trading aspect okay. of it as well um look i wouldn't say mistakes necessarily but you you you, you learn to grow a thick skin because you know Sometimes you get calls from someone who's blown an account, they're cussing you out, and you also just so badly want to return the favor, but you can't because you're in a professional setting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah. sir, please, you know? Um, but uh, generally speaking, it was, how can I put it? 
there's so many different things that should come across. But when I, when I think in terms of any mistakes or things I wish I didn't do, I can't think of anything along those lines. Mm. Um, I'm, I more have interesting stories of, you know, um, you know, calling a client uh, who, you know, we used to do reactivation campaigns. Okay. So like mobile hasn't traded for like 12 months, I call you. And then you think your account is blown, but you're holding a position trade on UJ for like a year. Really? That was a micro. So this lady, it wasn't oh, yeah. much money. It was a yeah. hundred and like $120 or some change. Yeah. It's like a thousand two hundred pips, right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. So she thought her account is blown. So I'm like, but ma'am, your account's got a hundred. She was so happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I've got stories like that, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that like kind that of really thing. Happens, that though. really it happened. I mean, maybe it's, you know you think you've blown that count and you you just delete <laughs> MT4. Yeah. Maybe that's what you guys need to start. Just delete it. You know, take a trade. Take it. Yeah. 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 Check two weeks there. And check it on the December. Yeah, just, you know, December a position time. account. You know? uh, that can actually that was, be a strategy. Cool. Yeah. That no, was but I think it was cool. easy to forget stuff. You know. But you know, you and I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That you at know. three AM. <laughs> And no, then you'll, you'll open your phone and you're like, hey, let me check this. We've all done this. Yeah. yeah. yeah we've all How much it. was the swap, by yeah. the way, on that? Um, it was actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a positive swap as wow. well. Wow. Positive nice. swap, yes. Wow. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. Gee. Very interesting. I mean, you come across such stories and, yeah. you know, there is that thing of beginners. Like some people really get in here yeah, and just kill yeah. it. Mm. If, if if ever like I had like a business plan is to get people to open up, say it's a demo account and then I find with a thousand rand each, you'll probably make a lot of money because when your first day is <laughs> yeah. right? Just tell them it was a demo account. Yeah. 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 This gentleman came here to give us a lot of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the thing you have implemented Monday. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, it's yeah. quite simple. I mean, when I f- your first trade, it's just most of the time, yeah, mm-hmm. the beginners like things like you get into blue and you just you you in it now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Wow, that's so powerful. Cause I think um I think uh, there's a there's an article that I read um from the Wall Street guys. Apparently, mm-hmm. people that make more money are the people that take trades and don't look at the charts of thoughts. Mm. You they see, are the ones that make more money mm, you, than you, those that are staring at the charts. By sitting on your hands, man. Now you're busy fidgeting, going yeah, yeah, doing yeah, wrong yeah, things. You're, you're interfering. Yeah, yeah interfering yeah. with the money-making process. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, sure. For real. But I, 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 I do agree with that, actually, in the sense that probably the guys who don't look at the screens make more money. Mm. Hence, I always feel like swing traders are, in terms of discipline, <sighs> okay. I, I this, don't know. This thing, I don't know. This thing, I don't know. <laughs> it's based on your skill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, traders are like, uh, let's let's use athletes as an example. You, you firstly need to understand which track do you run on. Are you Usain mm. Bolt? Are you more fun? First things first. It's a very important thing when you get into this industry. I think we try this thing of one size fits all. It's yeah. not the case. I could be a, a sprinter, like a scalper. I know guys who trade on the five second charts. You understand? And then there's guys who can hold a trade for six months, right? So you need to d- d- find out your your from your personality, your characteristics, yeah. your traits. What am I firstly? Am I someone who's impatient? Maybe you're a scalper. And maybe you can be very good at that, but you now need to hone in on that. Don't try to do everything. Yeah. It's very difficult to do all these things. But of course, if you, let's say, have a day job um, yeah. and you, you want to still trade, then maybe you are a swing trader or you can work on honing that skill you know four hour chart uh time frame daily whatever you know you don't have to be always on the chart but Mm. i think obviously if you now a date uh, someone who's got a day job and you're trying Mm. to scalp it's a problem Mm. you understand and if you're someone who's got the whole day to trade and you're trying to swing trade it's a problem because now you get bored it's like i need to be doing something you know with me yeah Quite interesting. I'm just thinking of a lot of things. I'm just thinking of all these ideas. How can they be implemented? Uh, yeah, 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 but yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you're basically just telling us stories now of yeah. like, uh, okay, rather than me say not mistakes, but just some stories over the year of yeah, from, from working with clients. Okay, so there's there's this one guy who flipped like a 10k account into one point. This is rands, by the way, into mm. 1.8 million rands mm. in a space of a week. I think it was he was trading crypto. He then blew it the next day, the whole thing. <sighs> I, I don't think there's anything more painful than that. But what are you saying, huh? <laughs> is that so? That's but it's the, that's what we see all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's normal. Yeah, 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 but ten, a, you said ten? It's from 10k to 1.8. It's normal. Among a 10k but to 1.8, it's, it's normal. Oh, this is the green. 
creed. Speed. This is a creed element, right? Yeah. yeah. Is to say, uh, traders need to understand that if you do get such a streak of luck, mm. and I'll call it a streak of luck because, you know, it's not guaranteed that you're going to be able to flip 10K to 1.8 all the time, right? Yeah. If you do manage, at least take a big portion of that out of your trading account. Mm. Don't now try to become a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to be the Vodacom guy, you know, you want to be a billionaire. Hey, by the way, that guy's going to get how much? I'm, I'm, I'm so trying to lend him as a... 63, 63 billion. Yeah, yeah. Big I'm ones, trying yeah. to lend him as... That one, you held the position there. Yeah. Yeah, that's so the that, position to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might yeah. be <laughs> Will be here with five million runs. That's gone now. Yeah, now how yeah. I blew it all. But he held a long term trade. You know. Yeah. yeah. I think we need to get that guy on the podcast. Yeah. No, hundred percent. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, no. Sixty three P. He must leave. He must leave one P for us. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That's the whole point for him coming here. Come, what do you think he's gonna be here for? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no. That, that is so true. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so greed is greed is a killer. Yeah. yeah. So you've yeah. worked with potholes before, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, what are the potholes you're experiencing within the financial industry now? Uh, interesting question. Potholes that I'm dealing with in the industry, yeah, or that are faced or dealing with, or yeah. And and talking about potholes, you know, you do know that we fix them after a day. <laughs> they messed up again. Uh, yeah. So, what is it that you're dealing with, like? There are potholes here. You see people making a lot of mistakes. You are trying to help them yep. um, to grow their business, obviously. Uh -huh. And they too, they do one or two things, then they go back to where they started. You know, what I've realized, you can't save people from themselves. You know, all you can do is guide them. Uh -huh. So what, what I've come to realize, you can only help those who are open to being helped. Mm -hmm. uh, if, whether it's trading or business yeah you know so even on the business side of things i can give you all the strategies to help you grow but it's really up to you how you're going to implement this i mean mm. yeah i mean some sometimes people have unnecessary expectations or unrealistic expectations mm. they want to earn something for no value that they bring or have brought uh, mm. people on the other side of the industry will know what I'm talking about. Mm. There, there's people who want X amount, but they don't do anything for it. Mm. Um, so, so that's one of the things I'd say. That's a big portal. That one's like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> there's no fixing that one. Entitlement. Yeah. Entitlement is a big part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people who are entitled, you know, you do the work, you get paid for it. That's just life. If you bring value anyway, yeah, yeah. I think if, if people can just use that going forward, you do well in life. Don't be entitled. The entitlement is mm. the biggest part. I think it's the only one worth talking about. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. You yeah. want to come in? Eh? No, I've got a question. Yeah. I've right. also got a question, so I want you to say yours. <laughs> no, yeah. say yours first. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like yeah. You, you, you're working with IBs yeah. um, quite a lot. And sure thing. so what is this one thing that you see that um, obviously – out of 100%, like mm -hmm. it's, the IBs are doing the f same mistakes. When they get into, obviously, get, getting partnership with Okta. Or just in general, there. let's just say in general, yeah. the mm -hmm. biggest maybe mistake any IB can make is just expecting to make a killing from the get-go. It's a business. Mm. You need to yeah. grow it. You need yeah. to build it. And this is with any business. That's why I like you can apply to anything. Yeah. You know, so I think just the expect. Uh, Expecting more than what you're offering as well, mm. um, but oh, yeah, yeah I, I mean, if you if you really give it time and take your time, uh, let, if we talk about the IB side of mm. things, um, it's something you need to have a long term outlook on. You know, for example, let's say I've got a signal service company, and I charge five hundred bucks per signal, uh, not per signal. Oh, that yo, a lot yo, of yo, money. Yo, yo, I'll yo, give out signals yo, yo, every day. <laughs> I have a bunch. Yeah, five hundred per month, yeah. right? <laughs> Uh, typically, that's the average range, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So with brokers, uh, they've basically given an opportunity to IPs generally to say, look, you can rather make money from rebates. Let's say if I trade two standard lots like at the Octa broker, you're going to make $24 from that as the IP, right? Mm -hmm. If you're on the fifth tier. $24 close to, I mean, you, you can basically start doing calculations basically to say, how can I get to that 500 bucks without charging MJ 500 bucks? Mm. So you're now adding immediate value to MJ, right? And uh, MJ can deposit 500 bucks extra. 
meaning more volumes. Mm. So this is uh, just thinking outside of the box. If you're adding real value, this yeah. is not a problem. Mm. But if you know that most likely MJ's account will blow, maybe you just want to just get the cash yeah, on yeah. hand. I mean, and there's also this thing that I've seen, you can't control traders' impulses. You know, I've seen some good IPs who give good service, but the traders don't listen. You tell someone about risk management. Mm. You know, but they don't follow it. They over leverage um, because obviously that thing that I spoke about of undercapitalized individuals. Yeah. When you undercapitalize, you want to flip that $50 to $50,000 in a month and you budget for it. Like, no, <laughs> it's $50. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to flip it to this. I mean, you guys have all seen that spread. That spreadsheet that used to circulate back in the days, uh, growing like $10 to a million at the end of the year. <laughs> We've all tried. And I haven't, I'm, I'm, I'm yet still to, waiting. I'm, I'm still waiting. <laughs> the person who's uh, done that thing, they, they must come on the show. It'll yeah, be I very know. interesting. I mean, we all tried it. And it was just to say, you know, obviously you can't have such unrealistic expectations. Mm. That thing was made on the basis and premise that you will be making profits on each trade. Mm. Yeah. That's impossible. Mm. Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah, but people will come for you saying that's impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> yeah, and you, to win every, the only way you can have a hundred percent hit rate mm -hmm. is if you take one trade and it's the right trade, and you stop trading. Mm -hmm. That's the only. Way. <laughs> <laughs> that is so powerful. Hundred percent win rate. No, right you retire. Yeah. You write a book about it. I know I've got a hundred percent hit. It's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> like a, like the Vodacom guy. Yeah, just yeah, one small as, yeah. yeah. He just took one deal, he's out. That's a, he's out. Yeah. And he's, he's, but you know, I think, I think talking about um, how people make small deposits and expecting yep. a lot of money, there's, there's actually a way that I, I, I think South Africans, we don't get to make use of our credit facilities. Mm. That, you know, if you have a small account, you're only starting out and you're like, okay, fine. From where I am, if I can make even a 5K profit mm -hmm. every month, mm. 5K and you're, you're, you're consistent with that, it's easy for you if you have a good credit score mm. and you've opened a business where you say, this 5,000, I'm going to put it in my business account. Uh, it's, ca it's coming in as income. Mm. Banks are willing to listen to you, put you on the um, checker credit and see if you can qualify. You can actually qualify for a loan. Because if, yep. if, 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 if you are consistent, let's say for six months, uh -huh. you're making good returns uh -huh. and they're seeing this money coming in, it's possible for you for them to give you money because people always complain about funding. Okay, so, so you see where the issue is there? Yeah. Is that what you're saying is true, right? You build up the skill, you can get access to funds, yeah. whether the various ways. Ways, yeah. But now that 5,000, you go on Instagram, you see like someone who made 50 <laughs> million rand today. <laughs> Yeah, those guys will make 50 million rands apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I say apparently. Yeah, I, it's very <laughs> apparent. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, so w why I'm touching on this to say unrealistic expectations mm -hmm. is a killer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. South Africa, not just South Africa, because um, I deal with the African continent. I've mm -hmm. dealt with traders all over the world, yeah. Canada, UK. There's a lot of talented traders out there. Mm -hmm. The problem is that impatience and uh, instant gratification. Yeah, yeah. If, if traders just, you know, traded with risk management and that's it, you stick to your 1% or your 3% or your 0 0.5, whatever it is, and you stick to it throughout the whole year with mm. one edge, most traders will probably make money, mm. most. Mm. But the reason why they don't is that impatience element. So within leading to that six months, that 5K is not enough. People now want to see 50K yeah. rather than being patient. But the patient ones are the ones who then do get access to that capital and mm. then make life-changing money. Mm. You know, even like mm. two, 3% returns are good. I mean, I've dealt with some high net worth individuals who their only purpose of their trading account is to beat inflation. Mm. Wow. It's like, I just need to make one, 2% in a month. I just want to beat inflation or beat whatever the bank's returns are. They're not trading. Uh, mm. So so these are like high net worth individuals. Yeah. They're not trading to make a uh, flipping account. You know, mm. they, are, they are more trading for <clears throat> capital preservation. Yeah. This is defensive trading, mm. capital preservation. And, and uh, almost anyone can do it. You see the guys who have the capital with that patience, most of them will, will make that money. But the ones, I mean, when you blow $100, you know, it's a blow. It counts as a blown account, statistically speaking. Mm. But on a bigger account, it's like one percent drawdown. You yeah. know, yeah. So, so it's perspective again to say 
traders aren't really bad they just impatient hmm. yeah yeah that's true because i was about to ask you is that hey uh babongs i'm sure there's somebody who's sitting there is like yeah babongs i hear you talking about high net uh worth individuals yeah, yeah. there but okay. what, what about us <laughs> what about us yeah, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's simple this thing yeah That's i mean so true, find, yeah. Uh, there's skill sets in the country right that mm. you can develop you see where the shortages and jobs yeah I, I know maybe someone can come and say there's no jobs find out where where where's their lack yeah where's their lack of value yeah. where's their lack of skill set and and fi- the skill sets you can acquire you can attain those it's all about p- uh, your your drive and ambition to say yeah. okay fine i'm in this situation today how can i get to point b it might take time i'm not saying it will happen tomorrow but yeah. have a plan you know and even on the no- note of of small accounts the I've, I've seen the conversations about uh high uh full margin trading uh, and so forth yeah. right um in those cases i mean i've i've seen clients who are so greedy they don't listen to me when i tell them manage your risk more effectively you need to stop blowing accounts now it's enough mm. me. every day you're blowing mm. so rather have the big account and the small account mm. so i always explain it in that way to say have a big account like maybe a ten thousand dollar or let's say rands let's talk rands yeah. ten thousand rand account and then a thousand rand account that thousand rand mustn't really affect you if you blow it it's mm. 10 of the bigger one the big one you you growing it for a longer term goal yeah. you know six percent a month in a year that's doubling a, an account six mm. percent mm. every month com- the power of compound yeah. yeah so if you use the power of compound over time if you have an account where you're like you know this one i'm not going to touch mm-hmm. i'm just using it to grow and grow and grow right yeah. that's where you can make money but the reason why you want to withdraw at the time is because that's the only source of income mm. Ish. Hey, <laughs> talking of uh, sources of income, have you seen? Have you seen the um, the Stein of documentary? Ah, uh, no, I've been. It, it's it's on my my watch list. I haven't gone. And you need it. to watch that. Oh yeah, I, mm-hmm. I think traders need to watch that. Yeah, if if you really think, because I like what he's saying when he's talking about sources of income. Yeah, look at how Stein of and, and Stein of is not a South African company. It's from mm. Germany. Oh yeah, but this guy market your stay was able to establish this company they side even make more than the headquarters in germany mm. and he started by do you know that this guy is a stalin bush mafia from ah. cape town but do you know that he started his first business in harangua Kasi. he's a white guy mm. goma goma that's his furniture business for those that are old you know goma goma <laughs> furniture i'm sure your mom or your dad this probably goma goma bed or who divided so the, this guy started in harangua with that business he was able to join hands with Steinoff um, mm. from Germany but look at what this guy did with a job he was able to see um how the market was you know he 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 saw the gap mm. he saw the gap that as much as we make furniture we buy wood and how is that wood being transported to us mm. and he was like no ways let's start the logistics company now we don't need to hire um, a truck to come and bring wood to us no it's our truck mm-hmm. logistics and if that truck is not bringing wood to us then we're gonna source it to other people let them hire it and i was like they would we don't have to buy wood anymore let's buy a farm mm. look at that yeah. look at how smart that guy is and it's like okay fine i'm done with uh working with the physical business now i'm mm. going to launch this and have um some shares in the jse it was launched there and it was like now every business i want to acquire i'm not going to give you cash i'm going to sell you those shares mm. then after some time pump and dump <laughs> the, the shares are worth Guys, nothing yeah, now don't, don't go now <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone this yeah, no, we don't we don't but what we are actually saying is that somebody started with a job uh-huh. yep. and he saw potential yes and he grew that into something big mm-hmm. people like him and mashaba people don't know that that guy is a um this is the owner of black like me okay yeah yeah, yeah black yeah, like yeah, me yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. is owned by him and mashaba mm. also started from harangua mm. so you cannot tell me that i i come from a poor background i come from a um disadvantaged background a wood and 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 and, and all that these people could make it in the apartheid era what more now Mm. where everything is so many options yeah we've got mcdonald's gives 250 megabytes you know what i mean i mean 
a job is not a hindrance. It's it's like a key to unlock exactly. potential. Yeah. And people like, see it otherwise. Eh? You, you can't do that. I mean, I, I used to look at it like that myself. Okay. Mm. You know, uh, back when I was on the business side of things, you know, mm. had this idea. Um, we're telling our mentor, like, we've got this idea. Uh, we actually developed it. It was like, you know, when you're at a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the waiter comes like, how's the food? What's you chewing? And you're like, but my guy, I'm still eating. Yeah. You know, so we came up with this concept called Ping, where literally like um, we'd say your waiters and waitresses have a smartwatch on them and the table number will show there if they need to attend to the table. So you just mm. click on the ping there. And so this whole idea, it was a great idea. I met with restaurant owners, what, what. Mentor said, get a job as a waiter. I was like, ah, never. <laughs> you know, so it's that thing of saying, the reason why, this is someone who's seasoned, who's mm. seen money, you know, mm. who's saying, look, in order to do something or make money, yeah. get within that space, understand that space. You might come up with something out of the box, like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the style of thing, you know, to say, put yourself in there. It might be something you might have not thought of. You'll see a gap there. But you can't see it from outside. Mm. You have to you be, on, to the be on the inside. Yeah, inside. And true. you need to get your hands dirty. You can make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Even if you, you know, some sometimes you might feel like, hey, I'm underpaid or whatever. Mm. Take the risk. It's better than, you know, not having a thing. You build experience, build value, network. Yeah. Goes back to networking. You, you have the opportunity to network in that space. So powerful. Yeah. So yeah. we can, can avoid this. This thing of seeing blue, mm. it, it's addictive. So yeah. here's what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Want, a lot of people are avoiding. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, copy trading. Oh yeah, what? Oh, they can trade. <laughs> <laughs> God, la, guys. <laughs> this is mm. education, mm. contract size. Yeah. We don't know these things. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know what's a trend line, you know what's a stochastic, yeah. you know support and resistance. You don't know contract size. No, I, I think the most time I've ever taken that break from trading was like eight days. <laughs> That's not a break. That's a recess. <laughs> the clients create the IP business. And I'll tell you what I mean.